Hey, what's up guys? So today I want to take you through a super fundamental concept, the concept of major modes. So this may be a review for some of you, but I've had a lot of people asking me lately about how modes work and why we even want to understand them. Um, and I think that people often overcomplicate what modes are and how we can actually use them for improvisation. So today I'm going to take you through the major modes and how we can use them for jazz. As always, before we get started, if you are enjoying this content, please be sure to click like and make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications. Let's jump right into major modes. So quick review guys, the major modes are all going to be based on the major scale. So I'm assuming a lot of you already know this, but this is the C major scale, okay? The C major scale is just playing up the white notes, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. That's it. That's how the C major scale works. We just play those notes in order. So now that we can see the major scale on the keyboard, this is also pretty easy. We can literally just count up the scale and assign each note a number. So C is 1, D is 2, E is 3, F is 4, G is 5, A is 6, and B is 7. That's it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And there are seven major modes. So essentially, each mode is just playing the major scale, but starting on a different note in the scale, or a different number. If you play the major scale starting on the 2, in the key of C, as we went over, that is D, then you are playing the Dorian mode. So if I say D Dorian, then that's all I'm doing. I'm playing the C major scale, but starting on 2, D. So let's say I wanted to play a G Dorian scale. Well, we know that the Dorian scale always starts on the second degree, the 2 of a major scale. So to figure that out, I just have to think, what is G the 2 of? And if I know my major scales, then I know that G is the 2 of F. And honestly, just looking at the keyboard, it's actually pretty easy to figure that out because the 2 is always just a whole step away from the 1, meaning there's a note in between those. So G is the 2 of F. So the F major scale looks a lot like the C major scale. We just go up the keyboard, playing all white notes other than this B flat. So if I'm playing a G Dorian scale, I'm just going to do those exact same notes, but starting on G. Again, that was just the F major scale starting on G. Cool, so hopefully you guys are starting to get the hang of how modes actually work. So the third mode is called Phrygian. Any idea which note we're actually going to start on for the major scale? You guessed it. It's the three. <laughs> so in the key of C, we can literally just count up one, two, three. Cool, that is an E. So if I play the C major scale starting on E, I am playing an E Phrygian scale. The fourth mode is called Lydian. So if I'm going to play an F Lydian scale, F again is the 4 of C, so that means I'm going to play the C major scale starting on F. Alright guys, so now that we're getting the hang of this, I'm just going to show you some of the other modes. The fifth mode, Mixolydian. The sixth is called Aeolian, and the seventh, Locrian. Alright guys, so now that we've talked about how modes work, I want to talk a little bit about why we even want to understand them. What are they good for? Well, the great news is that modes are a really easy way to think about which scales go with which chords when we're improvising. So anytime you see a major chord in a song, you can use Ionian. 
the same thing as a major scale. Anytime you see a minor chord in a song, for example, D minor 7 or D minor 9, you, could, you can use a Dorian scale, in this case, D Dorian. Let's say you see a dominant chord. Anytime you see a 7 chord or a 9 chord, for example, G7 or G9, you can use a mixolydian scale, in this case, G mixolydian. So let's just take a look at those three really quick in context. A 2-5-1 is basically a chord progression that starts on the 2. As we talked about in C, 2 is D. So we'll do D minor, and then goes to the 5, which in C is G, and then ends on the 1 major, which is C major. So to do this, we'll use the scales we just talked about. For D minor, we'll use D Dorian. For G7, we'll use G Mixolydian. And for C major, we'll just use C major or Ionian. So we can do a lot of improv using those three scales. And the funniest part about all of them is that they're actually all basically just the C major scale starting in different places. So we just know all of these white notes work for all of the chords that we're playing in this 2-5-1. That's awesome, so. Cool. So also I want to tell you about one other scale here. We talked about Locrian, that's the seventh mode. Anytime you see a half diminished voicing, also known as a minor seven with a flat five, use the Locrian scale. And one last one here before we sign off. Anytime you see a major chord with a sharp 11, and that's a little bit more of an advanced concept, but if you know what that is, anytime you see that chord, you can use the Lydian scale, which is the fourth mode. So as we're seeing here, when you learn the modes, you're actually essentially learning all of these different scales that you can use for the different chords we see in pretty much any song out there. And you can immediately apply those scales to those chords. It gives us a roadmap for what scales to use when we're improvising. All right, guys, I hope that that was clear and I hope that you understood what I was saying. And if not, feel free to leave me a comment and I will try to explain it to you in a different way. I know that modes can be a little confusing, but at the end of the day, they're basically just scales and each one is just the major scale starting on a different degree or a different number from that scale. So if you guys enjoyed this, if the lesson was helpful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and also be sure to click subscribe and click the little bell to turn on notifications if you haven't already. I wanna make sure you do not miss any more videos just like this one. Thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you next time.